everyone. Dollar Tree time. Oh my gosh. What a fun Dollar Tree haul this is going to be. Um, I found the mother load yesterday. <laughs> it's not terrible. I did. But I found the, the jelly bean body wash. The body wash. I was getting desperate for this. I really was. I was getting desperate. So I ordered Bath and Body Works on Amazon. This was a $10 item. Uh, cotton candy. And this is the jelly bean flavor. Both same idea. Anyway, um, this has a nice odor, no doubt. But when you when you lather it up on your um, washcloth, whatever, it doesn't seem to translate onto the skin area so much. But I'm really quite impressed with the jelly bean. If you want this kind of a flavor, uh, it, it smells like bubble gum. It's got a bubble gum kind of smell to it. Yeah, it does smell like bubble gum, uh, but that's nice. And when you lather it up, it really is scented in the bath. When you're taking a shower or bath, it really is scented. I noticed uh, the difference this $10 one has aloe and vitamin E. And I'm thinking that this one does too, because it does mention um, aloe in here. Aloe barbadensis leaf juice, uh, glucosicide, fragrance, you know, some of these things I cannot pronounce. Um, I was just wondering if it had the vitamin E. I'm not sure what the 10 coprol acetate, is that vitamin E? I don't know. There's glycerin in this, uh, sodium chloride's in this, sodium laurel sulfate is in this. It's also in this one too. But for $1.25, this is 15 ounces. This is 10 ounces, so 50% more for $1.25. You know, if you're hard pressed, definitely go ahead. Go ahead and get Dollar Tree's product. It's a nice one. And you know, I also read, oops, oh, there I dropped that. Uh, this is made in Turkey. Yeah, that's something different. I would have never guessed. Crackers come from India, and um, the bath wash, the body wash is Turkish. Look at that, Turkish bath. Does that make sense? Maybe. These come from India. I really do like these. Uh, I'm not going to say, they're not really a dupe. They're like their own individual character. This isn't like a, um, oh, what is the one that we buy all the time? I can't think. You know, cheese it. I bet you this isn't like cheese it but shall I try? Shall I give it a go and confirm or deny that rumor I'm making? I think I will. I think I will. I think we're gonna test one just to make sure we like it. Oh, smell the cheese. Yes, yeah, smell the cheese. It says it's made with real cheese. hate them. Mm-hmm. Absolutely hate them. Worst cracker in the whole world. Don't buy them. Mm-mm. Same for me. These are good. You know, there's not a lot of salt on this. If I choose it might have more salt. But mm. Mm-hmm. Essence of uh, cheddar cheese. Mm-hmm. It's got a nice uh, grease amount in here. Mm-hmm. See how many calories I just ate. I'd have to eat 28 crackers to have 130 calories, so I'm, I'm okay. All right. That's a good one. It's a good buy. I'm pleased with these crackers. Please don't tell me they're bad for me. Please. And then I um, broke down and got the chick flavored ones. Also, same maker, I believe. Sobish. Mm -hmm. That means India. So we'll give the chicken one a try. You know, chicken in a biscuit is the uh, would be a dupe of that. These two, the cheese one is a surprising one. All right, here we go with this one. Mm. Yeah, I got it open. <laughs> Yes, indeed, I'm, I'm succeeding today with my packaging. I just don't want a huge mess. But you know what I'll do? I'm going to put these in Ziploc 
bags to preserve them better. All right, here we go. Chicken flavored. We're giving the chicken a go. Give it a go. Wow, it even looks like it. Look at that. It looks like a. Mmm. Mmm. You know what? I'm tasting really sweet. Really sweet dusting, whatever's on there. You know, it does have four grams of sugar, too. I could taste that a mile away. Similar, but definitely mm -mm, mm -mm, not that much chicken flavor. Mm -mm. Very sweet. My goodness gracious. There's four grams of sugar in a serving. That's a lot. 15 crackers for 140 calories. You know what? I like them. I like them. I do like them. But they, they got a nice heavy dusting like chicken in a biscuit. I wonder if your guests would know that was not a chicken in a biscuit. I don't think it is light and airy as a chicken in the biscuit. You know, the sugar is a giveaway, though. I'm definitely. I don't think so. Mm -mm. Similar, but no. It's not Memorex. Or is that the other way? The real thing or Memorex? All right. Since we're on the food, can I, can I keep eating? This one said, um, what does this one say? This is a 12 ounce package. This is bigger than those other two. This is 20% more, it says. Um, now, Max, be quiet. This is a six ounce box. This is a 12 ounce box, same price, $1.25. And I think they're also made in India, product of India. At, Global Brands doesn't say anything about Sobish. So it could be a different uh, Indian maker. Yeah, Max, you're pretty loud there, kid. You're pretty loud. Pretty loud. Please tear here. Please tear here. Please tear here. Oh, yeah. Make follow instructions. We got to follow the instructions. Follow the instructions. Instructions. Uh, there we go. Please stay here. I'm trying to find that perforated. Yeah, I was getting it. I was getting it. I was. There it is. Nope, nope, nope. I'm going to have to tape this one back up. This will have to be taped up again. If I want it in the box. If I want it in the box. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah, I had a feeling. We've got three tubes. Three tubes inside the box. And this is a vegetable cracker, right? Yes, this is a stack pack vegetable. Vegetable crackers. Dollar twenty-five. what a buy. Let's hope they taste good. Use them with your cut up cheeses and meats and stuff. Yum, yum, yum. I can see it coming. It's going to be a party. We're going to have a party. Is it anything like a Ritz cracker with vegetables in it, maybe? Let's try. Smells like something. Smells like veggies. Mmm. Kind of on the buttery side tasting. Mm hmm. Mmm. Mmm. No, I'm not sure I like them. Yuck. I have twice as much of something I'm not sure I like. No, I don't think I like this. Oh, why? Too much onion? Something? Yeah. I don't like the flavor. I don't know. I hate it when I'm disappointed. There's a little hotness in that. I think somebody goofed on the flavoring. 
It's got a hot, it's almost like it has chili powder. Oh, it does have red chili powder. Boy, I can taste that in there. No, I don't really like these. Uh, the Sobish ones, they had a vegetable cracker. I bought that, that's good. It's probably like a seven ounce box though. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No, I wouldn't buy that one. Okay, okay, off of the food. We're gonna stop eating now. And then I bought this. People have been raving about these little uh, hand wipes that you can store in your cup holder in your car. And I got the pomegranate one. They had one left and I found it, pomegranate. Shall we smell it? Oh, it might smell pretty good. Let us see. Let us see what we will see. I'd like to find out what all this stuff is like. Okay, all right. Take off the foil seal. Maybe I'll put it back on, I don't know. I'm gonna make sure these don't dry out on me. Hmm. Opening, yes, we're opening, and it's difficult. I don't even have enough to tear here. Ugh. Not sure why. I don't have anything to fry it up with. I'll keep going and prying it up. I am, I am, I am. Oh. It's just impossible. Impossible. It's got good glue on that ring. I'll tell you, it's a good glue. No, I'm giving, I'm desperate. I'm desperate. Oh, that smells good. Yeah, that smells good. Yeah, that's nice. Let's see what the quality is like. You know, usually you tear, you bring it up through the center. It looks like you're peeling it from the side here. So that's what we'll do. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's pleasant. Stick it through the hole. I was going to say, does it have any kind of... Uh, Allowed to air dry without wiping. It does have some aloe in here. Fra fragrance, glycerin, propyl propylene, glycol, water, uh, benzyl colonium chloride. See how fancy I can talk? No. Nice. Nice. I, you know? Not bad. Might be a good deal. For $1.25, it's inexpensive for sure. All right, next, I found these uh, dusters. The fuzzy dusters. They attach to the, you know, the, do they now? Yeah, I think they do. I think that if you have that flat board, you can just slap that on there. This is a Dollar Tree product. Yes, I'm going to use that for dusting. I got two of those. Two, one, two. Next, you're going to be so surprised at what I got in the sack. The dollar tree sack. What have I got? Socks. We got socks. We pull them all out. You can pull them all out. Yeah. Goody. Goody, goody gumdrops. Here we go. We got the red jello. That's nifty. Cute. Cute. We have uh, Dippin' Dots. It's a new one. Dippin' Dots. Here's a favorite. I already showed this. And this is the favorite. This is Top Ramen with the shrimp. Isn't that cute? In pink. That's adorable. Yes, that's adorable. And then Captain Crunch. Yo, Captain Crunch. Love that. I love the simplicity of the colors, the bright colors. And uh, that's very pretty graphic. That's nice. How about Gargamel? Gargamel. Is he like the worst villain ever from the Smurfs? Yes, he's so cute. There's the Smurf on there. He's always ruining their lives or trying. They outfox him. 
Then we have just the blue Smurfs. Isn't that beautiful? That's really pretty. And then last but not least, ding dong, <laughs> ding dong. Very cute, very cute. Okay, those are the socks. Next, <laughs> next. We have tape, packing tape. Now I got two different kinds. I got uh, the tool bench, that was from over the automotive section. And then I also bought, this was in the Jot brand. I don't know the difference. Maybe we should look and see if there is a difference. Um, this one is yellow colored and white. This one has 45 yards. This one has uh, 40, 40 yards. So there's a five yard difference. Five yards. Um, let us see how we can take this off effectively. Here, I'm gonna get the scissors, hold on. Okay, here we cut. I'm just cutting cussing. I'll remember what is who, who is which or whatever. I think this should be, um, maybe I don't need to take the label off. What do you think? Maybe I goofed. Maybe I goofed. I think I did, I think I did, I think I goofed. I don't think I need to take that label off. Here's the, it's got a little cellophane wrapper. Oh, maybe I, it was okay. Yeah, no harm done here, but no harm, no harm, no foul. That's heavy plastic though, heavy plastic on here. Ooh. Okay, there's that. And then we have the little strip that we'll be able to lift. And so we'll do this one as well. Get the wrapper off. The wrapper. It's a thinner wrapper on this one. Thinner, a little thinner on that. And then this comes right off. Okay, here we go. We're gonna we're gonna find out. We go to find out. I guess I'm gonna base it on thickness, maybe. Arrow says that way, so I have to pick it up this way, right? No. Where's the edge? Where is the edge on that? No. Oh, here it's lifting, I think. I think it is. Don't make a layer out of me. Let's see if I can get this one lifted. Yeah, this one shows the arrows. Okay, yeah, this one is lifting. Here we go. Oh, it's tearing. I don't like that. I don't like it tearing. Oh, that's... Um, okay. You can see it's pretty thin. Hang on, hang on. Let's see if I can get this one opened. The down the road. I was thinking it was up higher. No. You know, are you betting on tool bench being thicker? I am. That was what I was saying. I think tool bench will be thicker. Thicker, and I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. Ever so slight, though. Makes you wonder what is the better one. I don't know. I don't know. They're very, very inexpensive. You know what? They're about the same. So I think go for the tool bench because it has uh, five extra yards. I would do the tool bench. I think that's my judgment call on that. Oh, the armchair philosopher here. Next. I don't really, um, oh, I, I keep forgetting to find these, and I found them this time. That's why I'm so delighted with myself. And we're running out of items. This is the end of this haul, pretty much. Yep, this is it, guys. All right. This, for the diamond painting, this is a 4x4, four four, and it sticks on your refrigerator. I thought this was a great buy, so... How do we use, we'll take it out of the package so we can take a look at this real fast. I thought this seemed like a perfect thing for those little four by fours. 
that you make, those like your first kit that you would want to do, just to give it a test, see if you like uh, diamond painting at all, and I do. So I did, I do have uh, one, I think, made that's a four by four. And here's a little plastic frame. Isn't this cute? And so it's very simple. It should just open. Oh, it opens from the top, I guess. It's opening from the top here. So pull out this design of paper. And slip your, or just leave it in, who cares? Slip your diamond painting in here but you'll have a nice wrapper, plus it can st stick on your refrigerator. I love that idea. So it's opening pretty far, so I think this is a win. I'm really happy. This is what I'm hoping for. And then I bought it in a four by six as well. Have a little, well, one that wore floating type of thing. So four by six should work. I mean, just think of even your photographs, how nice these would be. Then I got something that, uh, oh, Let's stay on the same subject. Stay on the same subject here. Uh, I got the ones that come with a stand. Same idea, four by six. The back is uh, a smaller gripping area, but these seem a little thicker than the ones on the refrigerator. And then this will stand flat like that. So that was a neat idea. I thought, you know, we'd just stand them up like that maybe if we wanted. Okay, next. Now, if anybody can help me with this, how is this useful? And I bought it thinking, oh, this would be a great gadget. But when you think about it, it's not a workable thing, is it? You put your, you put your cable in here, your C cable, and then you can plug this into a USB. But why? Because on most cables, this is a USB on the other side. So how does this work? Does anybody have a clue for me on that? Is I don't I just don't get it. Unless it's something I didn't read on the package. Just to me, it makes no sense. It says USB to Type C adapter. USB C female to USB A male adapter. Tell me, please, solve that mystery because I'm not sure how I'm going to use that, if I can use it. Alrighty, here we go, last item. Last item! Sugar-free Werther's Original Chewy Caramels. Love them to pieces. 1.46 ounces. I think that's a pretty good buy. Fair. Walmart is probably cheaper. But these are wonderful for sugar-free. And how many are in here? Five pieces, they say, are in one serving. That's the whole bag. 90 calories for five. Love them. Mm. That's my Dollar Tree haul. My gosh, going by quick today, huh? Oh, well, it was so much fun to see you today. Come back again, and I'm wishing you all the best. Bye-bye for now.